Hi, today we'll be extracting plasmid DNA from bacteria. It's a protocol that's usually called a mini prep. Uh, it's called mini prep because we will be extracting DNA from a small uh, volume of bacterial culture. You can also do midi preps and maxi preps from bigger volumes, but we won't discuss it today. So to start, you have to start a bacterial culture. For this, uh, we need a, a culture tube and some media. To keep it sterile, we will be uh, working around the source of uh, heat and I will now pour some uh, media in the cell culture tube. About 5 ml is enough. We also need to add antibiotic to the media. In this case, it's kanamycin. The antibiotic is needed to prevent other contaminants from growing. This way only our plasmid, our bacteria containing our plasmid will grow in this media. And now we have to pick one colony, one single colony from a plate. We also uh, are doing this in sterile environment. So now all we have to do is to label our tube and put it to incubate at 37 degrees overnight. So now our culture has grown and we are ready to prepare the mini prep. Uh, actually, uh, the best way is to take a two milliliter tube and uh, extract plasmid DNA from two milliliter of bacteria. You don't have to be in sterile environment for this step. So I just pour the two milliliters into the tube and we will now have to centrifuge it around uh, two minutes, two to three minutes at 6,000 RPM in to avoid damaging the cells. Don't centrifuge too fast. I'll actually use another tube of two milliliters to equilibrate the centrifuge. And uh, it will uh, centrifuge the cells to uh, keep all the bacteria on the bottom of the tube in the pellet. So now our pellets are ready and we can continue. As you can see, centrifugation separated very well the solution from the pellet and in the pellet we'll have all the lipids uh, and the membrane and uh, the chromosomal DNA all precipitated on the bottom. And now we're going to proceed with the, with the next step. For this we'll need a collection tube and a filter column that are usually provided with a kit. We will have to pour the supernatant on top of the column. So the supernatant now contains our plasmid in the solution. You can now discard the pellet and proceed and proceed with a with a column. We will now centrifuge the column one minute at maximum speed. 
to let the solution flow through the filter. Now that we have uh, let the flow through get through the column, we can uh, discard the flow through and replace the same column into the same collection tube. We will now wash the filter with a wash solution containing ethanol. This will keep the DNA bound to the column, but it will uh, allow the rest of the uh, contaminants uh, go into the waste tube down here. So we'll wash twice with 500 microliters of wash buffer. Once again, we centrifuge one minute at maximum speed. So we now repeat the wash with the same amount of wash buffer. So once again, we discard the flow through. We replace the column. And we add the wash buffer. So now once again we discard the flow through and now we'll have to dry the column to avoid all the ethanol presence. For this we will centrifuge two minutes at maximum speed without any solution added to the column. Good. At this step, it's essential to make sure that there's no ethanol left in the tube. So we just keep the column. And uh, if you want to check if there's still ethanol left, you can flick the tube a little bit with your finger. There's no droplets left, so it means that the column is uh, ethanol free. We can now take a clean 1.5 ml tube in which we will collect our DNA. So we place the filter on top of the tube. You can wait a minute or two just to make sure that all the residual ethanol evaporates or you can go straight ahead. So in, to uh, collect our plasmid DNA, we will now have to add the uh, elution buffer or you can use just uh, nuclease pure water, nuclease free water. The volume to add depends on the concentration you want to get in the, in the end. If you want a really concentrated sample, you're interested in putting as little water as you, as you can. The minimum volume is about 35 microliters, but you can get up to 100 microliters if you don't care about the concentration so much. I usually do something in the between. Uh, so I will put 40 microliters of nuclease-free water. At this step, it's important to pour the water uh, right in the middle of the, of the column and not to touch the filter with the tip. So I pour the water and now we keep the column like this for a couple of minutes to wait uh, until the water soaks the filter and uh, all the DNA comes from the filter into the solution. Now we can elute the DNA into our clean tube. For this, once again, we will centrifuge one minute at maximum speed. Mm. 
So at this point, our protocol is finished, and you can discard the column, and you have your DNA mini prep. Now the only thing that's left is to label the tube correctly. So I will put the name of the plasmid and the date. The best way to label is to put the na name of the plasmid both on the uh, tube lid and on the side. And now we can uh, check the concentration of the DNA by uh, a spectrophotometer. Thank you.